In this video, we'll go over some quick tips and exercises that will help you achieve proper posture. We recommend completing the exercises in this program in front of a mirror, on a soft surface, and a few times per week. If any of these exercises we discuss are painful, stop immediately and notify your physician. Hi, my name is Dr. Barbara Minkowitz. I always discuss the importance of good posture with my patients. Poor posture is becoming more common in children. This can cause back pain and injury, as well as interfere with sports performance. Having good posture will help make you look good and taller. It will help you feel good and improve your athletic performance. So the question is, how do you know if your posture is okay? In this video, we will teach you how to check your posture and give you some points on how to improve it. Remember, Posture is something we work on every day for our entire lives. First, we'll go over how to check your posture using the wall. Start with your back flat against the wall. You may want to position your heels a few inches from the wall. Next, place the back of your head against the wall, ensuring that your chin is tucked, not pointed up. After that, align your shoulders up against the wall and hold for about 10 seconds. Then rest by bringing your shoulders, head, and back off the wall. When sitting at a desk, maintaining good posture can be hard. However, with these few helpful tips, you can have good posture wherever you go. First, we're going to review how to sit properly at a chair. Start by lowering your chair so that your feet are flat on the floor and your knees are at a 90 degree angle. Next, scoot forwards so that your back is not touching the back of the chair. Then, bring your shoulders back, your chest out, and your chin down just as we practiced up against the wall. If you have armrests, you can place your elbows on top of them. However, it's important that they're low enough so your shoulders do not hike up. If you're using a phone at your desk, your phone or tablet should be at eye level to prevent neck strain from looking down at your device. Also, make sure that your back is straight, shoulders are back, and your neck is up. Our next tip is to roll up a towel and place it behind your back. Make sure that you're placing the towel at the lower curvature of your spine. Here, you can see the curvature in my lower back and the location where I place the towel. This will provide support for your lower back so you can maintain good posture while sitting for a prolonged period of time. It will be helpful to ask a family member or a friend to take a picture of your normal day-to-day -day posture and of your perfect posture. This comparison can remind you of what you need to work on, and it can also track your progression. If you can't take a picture, you can also look in the mirror. Taking a glance at your posture can only help you during your journey to achieve good posture. Now we will go over some examples to figure out why posture is poor. Here you see two children with their shoulders rounding forward and their backs hunched. Their hands are in their laps, which encourages them to collapse forward. Posture requires actively using muscles to hold yourself upright, which is not seen here. Here we see two children with their heads forward like a turtle. We don't want you to look like a turtle. In the third photo, you can see that when I asked the child to get her head back to be in line with her spine, she needs to tilt her chin upward. Her head is still forward like a turtle. She is too tight at her neck in the front to bring her head in line. This child's back is so stretched out from hunching forward that his back comes to a point like a mountain when he bends forward. These two children are excellent examples of how to use the wall to get yourself to a standing upright position. You can see how they both begin with their heads and shoulders forward. As the photos progress, you can see how they can get their heads and shoulders back to the wall. This helps them to know where they should be in space to have good posture. It's a great idea to have someone take a picture of you slouched and then lined up to remind you of how to line up. We'll start on our knees and slowly lean forward until we're on all fours. Now, we'll start lowering our back to make a smooth curvature along our entire back. During this stretch, 
your arms should be shoulder width apart and you should be pushing down through your palms into the mat to avoid any hiking within your shoulders. Make sure that you're looking forwards. Your neck should be in a neutral position. Hold this position for 20 seconds and repeat two more times. For this exercise, lower your shoulders, bend your arms to a 90 degree angle and pinch your shoulder blades together. As you're pinching your shoulder blades together, you may find it helpful to move your arms outwards in a fluid motion away from your body as demonstrated. Pinch your shoulder blades together for about two seconds and then rest. In total, you'll be completing three sets of 10 repetitions. The next exercise, I'll walk you through a chin tuck. Start by placing your finger on your chin and gently push your chin inwards. Hold this position for about two seconds and then relax. In total, we'll be completing 12 chin tucks. For this exercise, start with your knees bent, your back straight, and your head neutral. Then place your hands together, making a fist with your thumbs pointing away from you. Next, slowly move your arms out to the side and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Then, pause for a second and come back down. Make sure that you're using your back muscles to pinch your shoulder blades together. In total, we'll be completing three sets of 10 repetitions. For this stretch, we'll need a foam roller. Begin by placing your foam roller behind you. Then lift up your torso and slide the foam roller underneath you so that it's aligned with your spine. Slowly lower your head onto the foam roller because it's important for your head to be supported. Finally, bring your arms to a 90 degree angle and slowly lower them to your side. You should feel a stretch along the front of your chest. Complete this stretch for one minute and in total we'll be completing two repetitions. Lastly, we'll conclude this video with arm circles. Continuously move your arms in a wide circle for 20 seconds. Then stop and complete the other direction for 20 seconds. In total, we'll be completing two repetitions for each direction. Congrats on finishing another one of our videos. We went over how to check good posture, how to sit properly at a chair, some tips for using your phone or tablet, and some quick exercises to help you get on your way to great posture. Keep it up.